What's happening, everybody? So I want to show off some books that I got from, bam, AKA Books A Million. First, quick story. So I found out that they have quite a selection of comics. So I've seen them have comics before. It seemed, at least a long time ago, it seemed to be a lot of new, like more recent stuff, but I don't know if they still do that. But now they have quite a few uh, back issues, like tons of short boxes. They're constantly getting in collections. They do buy comics and graphic novels, trades, hardcovers, all that stuff. So they're constantly getting stuff. And one of the last times I was in there, they're talking about they were even, they had another collection coming in or something like that. Or they had just bought uh, like a sizable collection, something like that. So constantly going back in there, finding dollar books, filling holes. So I found some cool stuff. And then I also discovered that on one of these trips, that as an educator, I get a 20% off discount. So I'm like, what? Yes, give me that. I will definitely take advantage of that. And I did because I bought the first, or when I discovered that I was buying, uh, I bought the Ghostbuster pop I was missing and a bunch of comics. And what I'm also doing is for one of my students, I am, which I discovered she likes, that she likes comic books. So I told her I was going to get, and she told me Spider-Man was a favorite. So I went there to find, so I know they had a bunch of stuff and I found her uh, a Spider-Man trade and a couple individual issues. So hopefully, so like that, I got some cool bookmarks that I already owned anyway, or that I got duplicates of from a shop that I was at. So anyways, as I was going through, I was uh, made this. So this haul is actually from two or three trips there. I figured I'd finally show them all off. So yeah, uh, here's everything here. So first up, this one, the most recent one, I saw this one, uh, Anthony Johnston, Coldest Winter. So this is connected to the Coldest City. This is before the Coldest City, which was the, the basis for the movie Atomic Blonde, starring Charlize Theron, which I liked. And yeah, so I wanted to check this out and I had a bonus discount the week that I picked this up, so why not? And so then, a bunch of comics. So I got all type of stuff in here. So yeah, let's just go through. So next up, this one. So like I said, a lot of these were dollar ninety five cents. Where is? I don't even know where that is. Now. Okay, I think it's that later. So first up, I got this. This is Fantastic Four nineteen. I only got this one because it was a nihilist, and I just figured I want to see what the hell. Claremont Larocca. They were. Uh, was it Thibert? I don't know. Charles Thibert. At long last, a nihilist will have his revenge. So. Figured, let me see Nihilus in action with the Fantastic Four, see how that goes, so. And then next up we have, there's Amazing Spider-Man Annual 2000. This was from the year 2000. So there's that, I'm missing that one. As soon as I saw the cover, I said, I do not have that one. I know that one, didn't even have to check. <laughs> no, I don't have that one. And then I was going through, and I was going through the indie section, which has some Marvel, like random Marvel issues flipped in there, so. There's no really, there's no true organization to it, but for the most part, it is kind of sectioned off appropriately. But then I was going through, and I was looking at Spawn, and I was thinking, wait, some of these early Spawn issues, and I was like, I don't think I have these. And I've checked League, Com League of Coming Weeks, where I have my collection, and I was like, whoa, I was missing these, and I didn't realize. I assumed, I thought I had these all, but apparently not. So here is 17 that 18 there's quite a few issues that spawn there too there's 19 all these were a dollar yeah uh 20 actually i paid what was it 75 cents actually because i had an extra 25 percent off when i got these here is 23 and 25 and i swear i have this issue I don't know if something happened to it or what, but I swore I had this issue long ago. Maybe something happened to it, I don't know. So, uh, then we jump over to Marvel. Here is Amazing Spider-Man 32. But I will not be keeping this in because I didn't realize at the time, but it is the new stand edition. So, I'm not gonna get that. And then I found quite a chunk of Captain America too, so that was cool. Here is Cap 446. Later issues, uh, 447, and all these were a dollar. 
95 cents. Here is, what is this, 448. Captain America. And 449. That was the new stand as well, so that one will be gone. Go into the extra pile. 451. And it's just because some of them I didn't think about checking that their stickers, I pulled the stickers off these other ones though. They were the first set I got, but their barcode, Bam's barcode, went over the comics barcode. So I didn't think about looking behind it to see if they were newsstand or threat. So gotta deal with that. And that was for, did I didn't even show that one off. I don't even know. 451. <laughs> I got to talk and I don't know if I even showed that one off. And then this one's 454. I think this might be the last issue. I can't, yeah, I think so. Farewell to a Living Legend. Look at that. And then this series, this mini series, which I never even heard of. So I saw it, I was looking through their boxes. Another you know, Daredevil Punisher four issue mini series. There's that. Some decent covers, too. It is number two. And I just checked my comic shop that comes. I was like, what year does this even come out? I don't remember this at all. Here is number three. And number four. So I'm thinking, what? Daredevil mini Daredevil Punisher mini series for a dollar each. And I think in my comic shop.com they were I feel like they were up in the eight, nine dollar range or something like that. Weird. Next up, this one, so this issue, I was actually gonna give to, so, okay, so the student I alluded to earlier, we were reading this Fantastic Four, this Essential Fantastic Four book, the volume two, or whatever, I think it was volume two. I don't know how there, how many issues are divided up in those Essential books. Anyways, Fantastic Four. So I was like, okay, since we were, since the first book that I discovered, that she likes comic books, was Fantastic Four, I get her an issue of Fantastic Four. And so I was digging through and I found this one. And it's Fantastic Four 54, the 100 page monster. And this was 95 cents. And I was thinking, whoa, like that's a lot of comic for 95 cents. So that would be perfect. Then I was checking my comic shop .com, and I remembered all the other 100 page monsters out there and I was looking them up. And I was thinking, you know what? I think I'm gonna keep that one because <laughs> I want all the 100 page monsters that were put out in that time period. So I kept it. And so now, yeah, so that's my, the thing. And I think from issue 50 or 51 through 50, I mean, I must have been 51 through 54, each of those issues feature, or each of those covers featured a member of the Fantastic Four. And that one just happens to be his. It would've been cool if that was Human Torch's issue, but whatever. And next up, we'll do this one actually. So a couple of issues I was missing from this run of Uncanny X-Men. Here is 33. And 34. So I think that one's finally complete now. It's just missing like two issues for some reason. Two, three issues. And then last up we have my man Moon Knight. He's back. Here is his mini series. What was it? He's back and the night is no longer safe for evil, but it's uh, part one of a mini series. I think it was called the uh, Resurrection. The Resurrection. There's Resurrection. Ah, there's Resurrection in the title somewhere. But whatever. It's a cool cover. Dolly. I'll take it. Moon Knight. Working on a bunch of Moon Knight stuff. Or working on a bunch of Moon Knight ones. So, yeah. But anyways, uh, Bam has become what. Bam is, has become to comics what Walgreens became to action figures, the sudden hub of dope stuff, dope finds. So, <laughs> like I said, Walgreens started bursting with action figures, started getting Marvel, exclusive Marvel Legends figures, and now, Bam, books a million, is popping up with tons of comics for a dollar, and then I get extra discounts, so they have a huge, like graphic novel section and manga section and pops and action figures, all types of cool stuff like that. And then tons of, just tons of back into the like plenty of short boxes. So yeah, so that's my haul from BAM. Just wanted to show that off, just cool. So if you're near Books A Million, go check them out and see 
with their dollars or their comic book back issue section might have to offer. You never know what you might find in there. Some of the issues I did realize they aren't all a dollar, but I did see there's some issues that were three, two or three bucks, two bucks, three bucks. I think I was the highest one I think I saw was like eight bucks. So they are definitely getting priced somewhat. And a few of them are like two dollars, I can get that for a dollar somewhere. So two, three bucks, whatever. But yeah, so that's that. That's my haul. So let me know if you have been hitting up your local Books a Million spot. Let me know what you found there, because as I said, it's kind of cool. I'll be checking back there every so often just to see what they got. But yeah, just want to show it off. So uh, yeah, happy hunting, happy collecting, happy reading. This is Jim Drake. Thanks for watching and peace out.